We'll get right into this episode, but first, I just want to remind everyone that while it may look like things are returning to normal, there's a very good possibility that these lockdowns will continue into next year. And if that happens, it's more likely that we're all going to have to deal with food shortages. Even when we do open back up, there's a chance that the virus will cause everything to lock down again. Don't just wait and hope that things are going to work out. Be proactive and make sure that you and your family won't have to worry about food shortages. And I trust and use my Patriot Supply. You can too. This week, save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. My Patriot Supply food kits last up to 25 years in storage and include breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70. Those that know what's coming are preparing. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. Preparewithdronetech.com. Welcome back, everyone. Remember on February 24th when Nancy Pelosi responded to Trump's China travel ban by meeting up with a gaggle of 30 reporters and business owners to encourage people to come out to Chinatown to eat and party. Since the media has been accusing Trump of reacting slowly to this outbreak, he's been on the defensive and he's pointing out that their favorite Democrat politicians were actually much slower to react. Their job is to undermine Republicans and promote Democrats. So of course, they've now circled the wagons around Nancy Pelosi and are spinning wildly in her defense. One of these ridiculous defenses came from the left-wing San Francisco Chronicle with an article hilariously headlined, Trump inaccurately says Pelosi called for parties in San Francisco's Chinatown as coronavirus loomed. You can already see how they're going to try and spin this. Oh, Nancy Pelosi never mentioned a party, so Trump lied. You gotta love this transparent, petty quibble over a word, especially considering how the media have purposely mangled Trump's words over and over since he was elected. During the beginning of a global pandemic, Nancy Pelosi met with a gaggle of people with no PPE to encourage people to come out and eat? Party? What? The San Francisco Chronicle themselves had a big article about the Lunar New Year party, and yet now they act like it never happened. The fact is, Pelosi's actions and the actions of other Democrat mayors and governors around the country make it harder for the media to claim Trump reacted slowly. So they have to do their best to rewrite history, and that's what we're seeing here. As you can see, it's actually quite lazy and easily refuted, but they apparently assume the worst of their readers. It's just like the media's coverage of Brett Kavanaugh versus their diehard protection of Joe Biden. We saw national protests erupt over Brett Kavanaugh and the birth of a new movement called Me Too that turned out to be purely political, apparently. Remember the outrage? Remember the calls for women to be believed? Nancy Pelosi and Biden themselves said that all women should be believed. But when the tables are turned, suddenly Nancy Pelosi doesn't think that all women should be believed. A final question on a different issue. Uh, as you know, uh, there was an accusation of misconduct against Joe Biden. Are you satisfied with his answer? Yes, I am. I, I'm very much uh, involved in this issue. I always want to give the opportunity that women deserve. Uh, to be heard. Uh, I am satisfied with his answer, yes. Notice how it suddenly, women must be heard, not believed. Me too, unless they're blue, right Pelosi? I also want to point out real quick, that question came in the final 20 seconds of a 20 minute interview. You see how this works? The standards that they hold Republicans to are purely for advancing a political agenda. Those standards are never meant to be applied to Democrats. And if you try, you get this sort of avoidance, cover up and spin to get rid of the story. Over at Fox News, Pelosi had a little bit of a tougher time with Chris Wallace actually calling her out for her little Corona get together in Chinatown. And her response was the typical kind of alternate reality hyperbole that you would expect for someone not used to being held to a critical standard. I, I, I I want to point out that on February 24th, you went on a walking tour of Chinatown to try to promote tourism there. If the president underplayed the threat in the early days, Speaker Pelosi, didn't you as well? No. What? No. No. What we're trying to do is to end the discrimination, the stigma that was going out against the Asian uh, American community. Wait, what? The president targeted Asian Americans? When did that happen? The president targeted China for blame in spreading this virus around the world with their lies, and he labeled it the Wuhan or China virus, much like most of the media did for several months. Concern is growing this morning over an outbreak of a new SARS-like virus in China. At least six people have died from the Wuhan coronavirus, the Wuhan coronavirus,
coronavirus, the Wuhan coronavirus. The 34 year old ophthalmologist diagnosed Saturday with the Wuhan coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus. One more details about the similarities or differences between SARS and the Wuhan coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus in China. The Wuhan coronavirus. But at no point did Trump or anyone say anything about Asian Americans. This is an outright lie, and it's a lie that won't be touched by any of the so-called fact checkers. It's another drive-by lie that millions of Americans will now believe going forward. That's all for this episode. Just a quick one today. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.